everyone, Genevieve with Bikini Per News. Today we're interviewing a first-time Olympian qualifier, Ashley Janelle. Welcome. Hi. Hello. How are you? Um, good. Just on club nine million right now. You're just watching <laughs> Olympia. Not a big deal. I mean, no big deal. Just a Super Bowl of bodybuilding. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so I would love to start with taking it back to when you got your pro car um, at North, in North American in 2016. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience getting your pro car? Oh my gosh. So getting my pro card was truly such an amazing experience. It was actually my first ever first place win, even since competing regionally. So I did one regional show and then from there I went to nationals. Um, so I did five shows total and that was my first first place win, overall win and my pro card all in one show. <laughs> you were like, what just happened? Hey, what? It was like, I knew, you know, I'm such a believer, you know, when it's your time, it'll be your time. And that was just, it was truly a whirlwind. So yeah, that was like literally the best weekend ever. <laughs> I bet. That was wonderful. And then the best part was that you did your pro debut a little bit after at Baltimore Classic and you came in third place. So you're expecting yeah. that? Was that even, well, after you got your pro card, was that the show you planned to do? I did. I literally knew, okay, I really want to jump right in to the pro circuit. You know, I'm here. I've been prepping. Let's do this and let's see how I match up. Um, and it, doing that show was so great. I love competing on the East Coast. Honestly, I've always had such a great experience. And, you know, I just, I don't know. I just love the East Coast. <laughs> so um, it was a great show. I competed um, with Jin Ron Dee, who is someone I've looked up to since she got her pro card in 2014 at Miami Nationals. So to share the stage with her and then place in the top three alongside her and my girlfriend, um, who's sponsored by CJ's and Glam, Ellie Fernandez, was it was such an honor, you know. So it was really, it was fun. It was definitely, oh, uh, you know, I had all the jitters, but you know, I just brought it. I was still on that high from that overall win that I was just like, let's go. Let's like do I it. got this. That was yeah. awesome. I mean, and you came in third place. I just Oh, debut. That's that's pretty awesome. Because a lot of girls that I know, they they get their pro card, they go straight to a pro stage, and then they get last call out. You know, and unfortunately, but that is yeah. so amazing. I'm like, whoa, third place. There you go. I was super. I was just super honored, and I was super surprised, and I was very excited. And but I I see that too. I know exactly what you're talking about. It does happen, and like I said, you never know. It depends on who shows up, who's on the show, the lineup. You never know. So I just. Leave it to God, roll the dice, and see what happens. And you did great. And then you great. continued to compete in, in 2017. Yes. Which you did not qualify for the Olympia, but it was overall like a good season for you. Um, later on, you came in 2018 and you did four shows. I did six shows, actually. Nice. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know what? Last season started off so strong for me. Cause I was just like, yeah, I'm going off of overall in North Americans and my pro debut. Here we go. You know, I started off the season really strong at the Orlando pro placing in the top five. I was like, all right, I kept competing. Um, I did the Baltimore uh, fitness expo and I placed one point away from LA Fernandez. So I could have qualified for the Olympia, but I didn't. But I went to Vancouver and competed in the Vancouver Pro, which was great. I was in the first call-up there. I ended up in sixth place, but um, it's a very stacked lineup, and it was super great. That's After cool. that, I started um, working with the coach again, and, you know, I took on some new plan and just, you know, started doing things differently, and unfortunately, I ended the season on, a, on the lowest low. I honestly didn't think last year that I didn't know if I'd step on stage again because I was so upset and just so devastated because I did three shows back to back through September, September through October. And I progressively, I guess, let's see, July, August, August through October, I did three shows and I placed my worst ever, um, you know, 15th, 17th, 10th. And it was devastating. Of course. Um, I was like, how am I going to come back from that? I was embarrassed. I didn't like the way that my physique looked. I didn't know. So then I, you know, spent the holidays just, you know, enjoying myself and just kind of emotionally eating, I think. But, but sometimes we need that too, you know, not the bad eating, but just relaxing from getting off stage. Yeah. You know, I was like, screw it. You know what? I'm going to enjoy my life and figure this out and regroup. 
And then I started off this season. The new points qualification system came out, and I'm like, oh, my God, what? <laughs> and I was like, oh. And I honestly, I'm one of those people that make up my list of shows when the season starts. And I sent in my list, and I got all my contracts, and I sent them in. So I sent in my application with the list of shows I wanted to do. I got all the contracts. I sent them in, and I'm committing myself. Like, that's it. Because you can always withdraw. Of course. I mean, I started off in March, you know, with the third place at the um, – I'm drawing a blank right here. I, at the Indie Pro, the inaugural Indie Pro. So you got was, third place. I got third place uh, next to my twin, you know, Natasha Coleman. She won. And then my girl, Casey Clark, um, we had a blast. So I started off the season there. I knew that I needed to work on my physique more because I was coming off of my heaviest stage weight ever from December, from October and then obviously putting on that weight from the holiday. So I worked really hard and prepped so hard, but I knew that as the shows went on, I knew I would get better and I knew I would tap into the physique that I wanted. I just, I needed the time. It's so after time. that, it takes time. So after that, I did the Salt City Showdown and I was in third callouts there. Beautiful lineup there, ended up third callouts. Um, I think I was in 15th place. After that, I ended up going to, oh, this is a lot for me to even think about. I ended up going to, I know, I'm like, wait, um, but I went to, ended up going to the Pittsburgh Pro. Whoa, that was, woo, <laughs> you know, so intimidating, but I committed myself to doing it. And I'm like, I'm all in. So I ended up getting second call outs there and coming in 12th. So I'm like, okay, you know, we're finding our rhythm. You know, but my feedback was, you got to come in smaller. You got to come in smaller because I am known to have a lot of muscle. So, and that's been my goal is just because last season after I got with the coach, I ended up in three months, I put on more muscle than I have ever had. And that was not my intention, but, you know, so I spent, you know, from, I started prepping at the end of December on trying to just lose this muscle, lose the muscle that I put on. So then once I got to that point of, breaking all that down. Then I had even more to lose on top of that. So um, after that, I did the uh, Indie Pro. Yes, the Indie Pro. That was my first ever pro win. Oh my gosh. Again, I shared the top with my boo, Natasha Coleman. We flip flop. It shows it's super funny. <laughs> but um, I mean, that was truly I felt my best ever. I felt I looked the way I wanted to look. I, I just felt it and I manifested it and I dreamt it. And I knew my time would come if I just, you know, stayed persistent in the pursuit of my dreams. And um, so I did and I won and it was so amazing. And so I had these points, but I'm like, okay, I'm not safe. You're never safe. I gotta like, keep going. I gotta keep going, baby. So of course we have the mile high here in Denver, Colorado, where I live. And I mean, the opportunity for my in-laws, my family, my husband, my friends, my clients, my posing clients to come and see me compete was like, of course I was going to do that show. Not to mention, I knew my girl Ashley Kay was coming and, you know, I met her years back when I first started competing and, you know, the girl just, you know, she just tugged at my heartstrings and I love the person that she is that I was like, I just want to share the stage with her and I'm going to make this happen. And, you know, we had our pose down. We you should both know. were there. I was like, what's going on? There's two Ashley. Everybody was commenting in our page like, Ashley, Ashley, wait, what Ashley are you guys going oh, for? I was like, hey, you were there. But yes, on your even on your Instagram, it's like, Ashley, the other Ashley. Ashley K, Ashley J, you're, and you know what? Like even at the Olympia, we're next to each other again. That's because awesome. It's so it's awesome, but it's awesomely intimidating for okay. me because she's just so amazing. But it's so funny. I told one of my best friends that came in town, Elizabeth. Um, I told her I was like I had a dream that I had a pose off with Ashley Kaltwasser at this show, <laughs> and she was like, "What?" And then it happened. That's so. so I got the goosebumps. I know it was, I'm, I'm such like, you know, I'm into spiritually when it comes to manifesting stuff and mantras and repeating it and it'll happen. And I dreamt it and I will, I even woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, Oh wait, what? Oh my God. That would be a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. So when Jack, who is head judging goes, you know, they, they called our numbers, 20, uh, 
33-32, and we could not even hear it in the first call outs. And people were like, Ashley, go! And we're like, no, it could be you. And we're like, no, it could be you. And she's like, it's you. And so we're like, wait. It's both of us. And then they're like, both Ashley's over the mic. They're like, both Ashley's come. Because <laughs> we were both like, wait, what? <laughs> so we get out there and it's just a whirlwind. So great. So then it's time for final confirmations at finals. And they're like, um, 33 and 32, both Ashley's. And I was like, wait. This, they're like, all right. And I'm like, they didn't call anyone else? And then oh my that goodness. was it. I was like, I went through so many emotions. I was like about to cry. I was about to pass out. I was so excited. I'm like, what's going like, on here? Oh, I was like, I'm about to have a pose down with three-time Bikini Olympia, one of my biggest inspirations in this sport since 2012. Holy cow. This is amazing. Oh, my God. That puts <laughs> so, you that never say never and nothing is impossible. Exactly. And it's not even one of those, like, I'm here to beat the, I want to beat her. I want to, it was just like an honor. Of course, it was yeah. an honor. And it was just one of those moments for me, like where time stood still. And I look at the video so much, like I just play it back and I just think about it. And that's why I love this sport moments like that. Cause I mean, I started competing at the age of 30. I had never even lifted weights. I was 30 years old. I used to be a professional dancer, NBA and NHL. I had never lifted weights. I never like ate clean. <laughs> I just, you so know. It's crazy though how life is and look at you now. Like I would never yeah. expect that from you. Yeah, so I mean, I played sports in, in school and you know, I ran track and I was a cheerleader. And then, you know, I started professional dancing when I was in college and I just stuck with that. And you know, we're somewhat active, but you know, it's not, our deep regimen to like be in the gym as much as now you see a lot of professional teams really in the gym, members of gyms, having personal trainers. It's super important, but that just wasn't something that was a priority to me. And I made this list 30 things I want to do when I'm 30 and doing a bodybuilding competition was one of them. Um, because I had looked at it. I'm one time in college. I was like, I want to compete. And I told my dad, I was like, will you pay for this sparkly bikini? My dad was like, no, no, like, you don't stay, stick with anything. No, Ashley, not doing it. And I'm like, Dad, come on. And he's like, uh-uh. Now you want to get on a sparkly bikini in front of people? And so I was like, okay, one day I'm going to make it happen. So and you did. I did. And here we are. Now I'm literally almost just over a week out from stepping on stage at the biggest stage in the world. Like, I can't even. I was just going to ask you that feeling of going to your first Olympia. Because I've asked many people who've gone a few times and they say it's nothing like the first Olympia. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, I just even got emotional talking about it. Ugh. This sport has changed my life so much. And I'm just so grateful to uh, just represent so much on this stage, you know, whether it's women or whether it's african-american women or whether it's my sponsors or whether it's just i don't uh, i just it gives me chills and i'm just so grateful you know this this sport is amazing and i think that when i talk to people about it that aren't involved and i try to share like how passionate i am about it and why i love it and why i compete the conversation ends with them understanding like holy cow this is such a big deal you know and it I'm just so excited. I can't even, I can't even expect anything because it's going to exceed all my expectations. Just being so, on that stage. I think it's literally, I don't care. I mean, obviously I want to do decent, but I don't care. I just want to go and step on this stage and just to be able to say that I made it on my own, which is something I'm so proud of. And I did that. It's super, super, super cool. And I am so happy for you. Congratulations again and again. I know that's a moment that only the person going is going to really know how it feels. But yeah. just and like it's like, it's just like, you know, the people that I will be sharing the stage with, you know, women that I have truly looked up to in this sport. I just, you know, I was just with Angelica last week at North Americans, and we were doing trophies for finals, and just talking to her, and just the wholesome, kind-hearted person that she is, and how she represents our sport so well. Like that's the epitome, and to be to be able to stand on stage with her and 
women like Tanya Eubanks, who I like, I'm from Dallas too. I'm from Texas. And she's someone, her and Ashley are people that I both looked up to for so long since even like before they were an Olympian. It is, it's so cool to just be up there with women like that and Jen and, Ugh. And that is finally going to happen. That's it. It's happening next week. You know, I mean, yes. saying two, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. No, it's happening next it's week. Here. I literally it's leave it. on Monday. I literally fly to Vegas on Monday morning, and I get there at ten, like ten thirty in the morning, and I'm in it. I'm there. Just There's enjoy no the moment and rest, and I cannot wait. We get there Wednesday, so That'll okay, be cool. Yeah, I'm going to get there, get some training in, and just, you know, soak it all in, get acclimated, and just, you know, just maybe meditate. <laughs> a lot of that, right? <laughs> a lot of that. Just to keep me calm. I get super, super, super anxious, so this will be good for me, just to whew, get there early. The and just thing that you know what works for you, so you can already start doing it in advance. Yeah, for sure. I have, this is so funny. So, you know, those, um, like those Indian spirit candles, the tall skinny ones, they also have the shorter ones. When I was at the optimum classic, I always go and buy stuff. I always have a candle in my room every show. It's very calming for me. And so I went to the store to get a candle and a lighter when I got in because I forgot my one at home. So I bought this Indian spirit and it's a purple lavender candle and it's for money and good luck. So I literally took that, obviously at the optimum, I won. When I did the mile high, I didn't take it with me to the venue, but I got second. But then I went back to the optimum. Then I went to Linda Murray and I took my candle with me and I won. So Girl, you better get that candle for Olympia then. You're bringing this candle to Vegas. Okay. <laughs> it's hanging in there. My Indian spirit. I got a little bit of wax left. It's coming. We'll see what happens. You know what? Maybe when you get the out. first call out, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely take it back to this candle. Yes, I'm gonna be like, can I get a sponsorship with Indian Spirit? Come on, where's my code? I need a discount code for my peeps. <laughs> it's the little things. I'm so you know weird like that, superstitious. Hey, that's what works for you, and you have to not only focus on you know those things, but enjoy the moment. You know what I mean? Like you enjoy the competition, just like now. You have all the full energy, smiling. You know, because you're not only you're you're going to the Olympia, like it's it's huge. Yeah. You know, and just seeing you, your smile on your face, that's that's beautiful, you know? Thank you. Thank and, you so much. Like seriously. And thank you for what you guys do for all of us. Like with I don't I think about competing before you guys even existed and I'm like, what? The contest coverage, like this the everything and the support that you give us, wow, it is truly top notch. Truly do a good job, So we're so happy we're going to be there at, at Olympia, too, so oh, we can yeah. see you girls and get more exclusives. And, you know, because we have a lot of fans from all of you following us that they love when we post you girls up. And yes. it's just amazing. And before we wrap it up, I would okay. know, are you planning on doing any other show right after the Olympia? Honestly, no, I am not. I think seven shows in five months is enough. <laughs> but I honestly... Um, I have my site set on an Arnold invitation and for me like the Arnold was the first like my first dream that I ever went to accomplish because that was the first expo I ever went to and I was like whoa I want to be on this stage this this whole experience and being Columbus and Arnold it's so amazing so I definitely have my sights on the Arnold invitation so I will be putting in my invite for that other than that, I'm just going to enjoy a couple months, you know, travel a little bit, relax a little bit. The holidays are coming, so it's good to be with your loved one, your husband, you know. Yeah, you know, I my birthday is in November, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all this stuff comes in like two months. It's so much, and I'm like, man, I just want to enjoy that and have some time with family and friends. And, and then, you know what? I get that Arnold invite, and boom, we're back into prep mode, baby. And you needed that little mental break so you can come in stronger. Yeah, exactly. You, we need that. We need that. This break I've had before I started really prepping for the O, I needed it so bad. Because honestly, you know, so people ask me all the time, would you recommend someone does six shows now that you've done it? I get that in my direct messages, my DMs all the time. And I'm like, no, not necessarily. Because it was very taxing on the body. And by the time I got to the fifth show, it was like, ugh, 
But then I got to that sixth show. It was my body was, I mean, I was so depleted and I needed, I needed to just have a break up my calories, relax the body and just take a nice break. So this has been good. I feel really refreshed. I'm so excited and I'm just ready for everything next week. And that's all that it is. <laughs> and that's how you can look forward to. Like I've always said, you did and you're doing your best until the Olympia date. Then you have to own that stage, girl, and just pray for the best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, chills, just thinking about it. Like, what? I'm going to be on the Olympia. What? Oh, my God. Is this it, just happening? It is. And I know it's not going to be real yet until you are on that stage. And even after, you're going to be looking at the pictures like, is that me? Right? I know. And literally, anyone that I've asked, like girls that have done it before, what is your advice? They're just like, you know what? Enjoy every moment. Take the shuttles. Do everything that they, you know, get it, be at everything. Do take it. Pictures, take videos. Pictures. Because, I mean, Natasha even told me, she's like, take tons of pictures because it's going to fly by and you'll have all these pictures to look back at. So yeah. everything yeah. from Meet the Olympians to just being on stage and just, I mean, I just, I just can't wait. I don't, I don't even know. My best girlfriends will be there. Like seven of my girlfriends from back home in here. Hey, and take a picture with that Olympian jacket on too. Oh, oh. And so, when they like sent us like an email with the, for our sizing, I was like, yes, it's happening. I get an Olympia jacket. I know it's going to be, a, you're going to yeah. be taking selfies. I know. I feel like, where, yes. I'm going to wear that jacket year round in the summertime. What? <laughs> of course. Yes. It goes. Oh, cool. But I'm so excited for you. I look forward to seeing you next week. And thank you so much for allowing us to interview you. You look a lot to us. And congratulations on the baby. You look, you're glowing. You look beautiful. Yes. Yes. Try, you know, I, not stepping on stage, but at least I got to look good for the additional hey, pool parties. You're looking good for those pool parties. I'll be pool party on Sunday, so I'll see you, you there. Better. <laughs> yes, better. All right, cool. So, Josh, we wish you the, nothing but the best next week, and whatever you need, you know, we'll be here. So thank you so much for your mother's support. Thank you, BPN. Love you guys so much. We love you too. Bye. Bye.